Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews. I recently featured the Cobalt R4 outboard bow rider on this channel, and this time we're taking a look at the big sister. This is the Cobalt R8 outboard bow rider. This was also on display at the Daytona Beach Boat Show earlier this year. This would make a fantastic day boat while you're into fast cruising, fishing, swimming, diving, snorkeling, or all of the above. This one, including the bathing platform, measures in at 27 foot 10 inches. She's got a beam at 8 foot 6. She's got a fuel capacity of 125 gallons, fresh water capacity at 10 gallons, and she's got a dry weight of around 6,500 pounds. This one's got a great finish to it, outside and in. I love the shine off that hull, and I love all the fittings, fixtures, and build quality that you'll see throughout. This particular example was powered by twin, these are Verado 300 horsepower V8 engines and in the right conditions you'll hit speeds close on 65 mile an hour. I love the way you get forward and rear facing seats, especially if you're going to be into water skiing or towing inflatables, things like that. Almost all the seats on board lift up for storage, there's seating on board for 11 people. And this one does have a large bimini top for the main section and as you can see there's also a canopy on the bow giving you plenty of shade from the sun. I personally like the removable carpet that's on here. It's got little buttons to keep it all in place, but I always find these are far easier to clean than if you've just got it fixed to the deck. You'll find plenty of drinks holders, handholds, and speakers throughout, so that no matter where you are on the boat, you'll get that plenty of entertainment and comfort. We do have a removable cockpit table. I like the fact this can be mounted in several places throughout the boat. And then for the helm, this is a very well designed and equipped boat. The helm seats rotate and it's also got the bolster effect so you can sit down or stand up. You've got controls to your trim tabs, you've got your full engine instrumentation. This one's actually joystick operated as well. Right hand side we've got a wireless cell phone charger. And on the main dash we've got twin Garmin 743 multifunction displays. So this can be used for your engine controls, it can be used for chart plotter, you can hook it up to depth sounder, fish finder, things like that. And from a price point perspective, at the Daytona Beach Boat Show, this one was on offer for $299,716. And if you're looking at spending time on the water, especially with young family on board, you can enjoy the fact that this one is equipped with an enclosed heads compartment. This is great not only for having a toilet, but you've also got somewhere if you want to get changed with privacy. And you can also use this as additional storage when the boat's not in use. And this one does have a wind door and you can close the windscreen going forward. So if you wanted to keep that enclosed, you can. And then on the bow itself, you find a large sun pad area with plenty of handholds, more drinks holders and speakers throughout. I personally like the use of this removable sun canopy on the bow. I'd imagine this is great, particularly if you're going to be at anchor, having lunch, something like that. And I love all the minor details that's on board. Look at the stitching that's on here, and the way that they've got their emblems. There's just a high level of pride and craftsmanship that goes into making these boats. And you can tell that no matter where you are. And as an example of the storage underneath the seats, if I pop this one up on the port hand side, you can see there's plenty of room under here for something like a backpack or lunch box or something like that. And speaking of lunch, you can drop anchor on this one, which is not something you can do in all boats of this size. Not only does this one have an anchor, it's also got an electric windlass, and this can be operated from here or from the helm. I was personally very impressed with this one. I can see myself spending all day on the water with family and friends. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it if you can hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does make a difference. I'd like to thank Cobalt for the opportunity to come on board, check this one out and share it with you. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one. Thanks everyone.